Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and today we are gonna do a grocery haul. We're actually gonna do two hauls. Today right here I have a Costco and Winco haul. Winco is my local discount grocery store. It's an employee owned grocery store that I have in my area. I'm also gonna be doing an Azure haul at the end of this haul. I was gonna to wait to do my grocery shopping next week when I pick up my Azure haul, but I am actually doing some canning right now. I've got some salsa verde cooking right here and I'm out of canning jars. So I had to run to the grocery store to pick up canning jars and cilantro because the cilantro in my garden is about done. So I figured I'm gonna just go ahead and do all my grocery shopping so I'm not making a separate trip next week. And I'll just show you what I got here. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you my Azure haul when I pick it up. I actually haven't been grocery shopping and done a big haul like this in almost two and a half months. I found a local dairy that I've been buying my milk from once a week. And so I haven't had to go to the grocery store for dairy. And in my last grocery haul, I bought a bunch of cheese and cheese lasts a really long time if you store it correctly in the refrigerator. I have filmed every grocery haul I have done in 2021. And the reason I haven't had to go grocery shopping is I keep a very stocked pantry with staples like flour and oats, things like that. And my garden is producing like crazy. It's starting to slow down now. That's why you'll see some produce in here. So I haven't had to buy produce. And I buy my meat in bulk so I don't have to go to the store to buy meat. So that is why I've been able to go so long without going to the grocery store. I had to go to the grocery store to pick a couple things up for this canning project I'm doing today. So I figured I might as well stock up on some of those things that are getting a little bit low as long, along with buying a couple produce. So let me just flip you around. I'm gonna show you what I got in here. And I wanna tell you, at Costco, I spent a total of $254. And then when we get to Winco, I'll tell you how much I paid there. Even though I've been buying milk from a local dairy, when I was at Costco, I did pick up some heavy cream. This is for making homemade sour cream that I make. And I also probably am gonna be making some pumpkin pies coming soon. So I picked up some heavy whipping cream. I did get some half and half for my coffee. Now, the last couple times I went to Costco, I have forgotten to buy this and I've been buying my Parmesan cheese from Azure Standard and I'm honestly not as impressed with it. This is real Parmesan cheese from Parma, Italy. If you look on the side, you can see that it is stamped and this is the real deal. This is $12.99, I think, a pound at Costco. If you buy this at your local Kroger, you're gonna spend about $24.99 a pound. So I like to buy this at Costco. This stuff is the best out of any Parmesan cheese. This is the real deal, this is the real stuff. So if you have a Costco in your area and you can get this, I would highly recommend it. I bought two because I don't plan to go to Costco anytime soon. Another reason I actually had to run into Costco was because I am almost out of toilet paper. I have probably 10 rolls left and I don't like to get that low on toilet paper. I actually went into Costco two times just to check for toilet paper. I didn't buy anything because they didn't have any. <laughs> and so while I was out shopping, I figured I'm gonna run to Costco, see if I can find some toilet paper, and I did, and it is over there. It's not the Costco Kirkland brand, which I normally buy, but I just bought what they had, and so that is why I ran into Costco today. And honestly, that's why I don't like to go to Costco very often, because when I do, I typically buy way more than I actually intended to buy. And this here is some provolone cheese. I've been really enjoying provolone and salami for a snack or lunch. And I haven't tried this provolone. I've actually been really enjoying the provolone from Trader Joe's, so I thought I'd give this a try and see if it's any good, because Trader Joe's is kind of out of my way, and I don't really like going all the way over there for it. I got a couple bags of salad. I got this, I've never tried this one, the avocado ranch, and I love this sweet kale one. I haven't had salad in a while, and I thought it sounded really good, because my garden's been producing, and when it's producing, you gotta eat what's fresh. So I picked these up, they were kind of expensive. Um, this, this is definitely a treat for us. I don't usually buy anything like this, but it sounded good, so I thought I would buy it, and we'll actually probably eat one of these for dinner. I had a huge disaster. <laughs> I spilt and broke a half gallon of cocoa powder, and they had this at Costco. It's free trade, I think. Yeah, it's fair trade which is something that I try to get whenever possible with cocoa powder. It's organic. I'm not as concerned about organic with chocolate, but I definitely am more concerned with fair trade. And because I dropped that half gallon of cocoa powder and destroyed all of it, I decided to go pick this up. I like to make homemade chocolate sauce and homemade brownies, and you need this for that. So this is a big bag, but we will definitely go through it. I got a thing of Pete's coffee. I've been slowly starting to have a little bit more regular coffee. I've been doing kind of a half and half decaf, half regular. So I picked this up while I was there. I picked up a package of tortillas. I just learned that you can actually freeze these tortillas. These are my husband and I's favorite tortillas. They're ones you actually cook. The ingredients are not the best, but they are really good. 
And so I picked them up at Costco while I was there because the price is the best. And you can freeze them raw and then you just thaw them before you cook them. They're the Tortilla Land brand. I picked up a thing of lemons. I love fresh lemons. I picked up a half gallon of Captain Morgan's. Some bananas, Brussels sprouts. My Brussels sprouts did absolutely nothing in the garden. I'm still letting them grow, but I thought these would sound good with dinner tonight. We are actually having meatloaf. It's a freezer meal that I pulled out of the freezer. And I thought Brussels sprouts would go really well with that. I ran into Goodwill to see if I could find canning jars, and these were all I could find. So I picked up those three. That was $1.50 for three jars at Goodwill. Still on to Costco, I picked up Erath. This is a local vineyard in my area, and I like their wine, so I bought a bottle of that. I also really like their champagne, and I don't go to Costco very often. These are $6.99 each, so I picked up two, four, five of those. This will last me a while. I picked up some chips because I am making salsa today. I wanted some chips, and these are my favorite tortilla chips. These are some hot dog buns. I ordered a whole hog from a ranch that I'm gonna be picking up in the next week or two, and one of the things I was able to order through the butcher was brats, and so that's why I bought these hot dog buns. And then I also, in my last freezer cooking video, I made some meatballs with marinara sauce, and they're really good on hoagie rolls, so that's why I got these for those two things. The last thing I got at Costco was a complete splurge for me. These remind me of my childhood. We ate these growing up. These are just some pot stickers, chicken vegetable pot stickers. I don't always buy these. These are definitely a treat. This is a convenience meal for me. And I figured I would just pick up one of these because they sounded really good. That concludes the Costco haul. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go over the Winco haul. I bought five cilantro. This is for the salsa I'm gonna be making and some white onions for the salsa that I'm gonna be making. I also picked up some mousse. My hair is actually curly and I haven't had mousse in my house for like three or four months and that's why I've been wearing it straight. So I picked up four of these so I don't run out. Also, I picked up some toothpaste. This is my husband's favorite brand. It's 97 cents for a tube. And if you don't know, I am a dental hygienist and all toothpastes are pretty much created equal. If you don't know, my profession is dental hygiene and all toothpaste is pretty much created equal unless you have sensitivity or your dentist recommends a prescription toothpaste. So I never spend a ton of money on toothpaste. All toothpaste basically say for whitening. And that is not because they have bleach in them. That is because you can't sell a box of toothpaste unless it says whitening. So it is an advertising thing. The only toothpaste on the market that actually has any sort of whitening bleach or anything in it is the Crest. I think it's OptiWhite. It's the one in the red box. And I personally wouldn't spend money on expensive toothpaste for whitening like that because you need the bleach sitting on your teeth in order for it to have the chemical reaction to whiten your teeth. So if you're interested in whitening, definitely talk to your dental professional and get the custom trays that go in your mouth because those are actually gonna have the bleach sit on your teeth. You probably didn't wanna know all that, but I just wanna let you know that you don't need to spend a lot of money on toothpaste because it's really the toothbrush that's keeping your teeth clean, not the toothpaste. I did pick up some organic tampons. That is one thing, I do not have the budget to buy everything organic. Not everything in this grocery haul is organic, but I do always, always, always buy organic feminine hygiene products because I feel like that is very important. Oh, and at Costco, I did buy a bag of dog food, so that was included in the Costco haul. I did have to look at my receipt to see how much I spent at Winco. I did spend a total of $69 at Winco, and that did include a box of jars. Like I said, one of the reasons I went shopping today was to find some canning jars. And at Winco, this was the only canning jar box they had. It was pints, which is actually what I went for, and I was glad to get one box. Because they only had this one, I did go to another grocery store. I went to my local Kroger. They did have two boxes of canning jars. These were the only two boxes they had of regular mouth, and I did pick up both of them. There was one box of wide mouth, but they are more expensive. So I picked up these two. These are quartz, and I'm gonna use these to can my green tomato salsa verde to make like um, enchiladas with. And while I was there, they did have this cheese on sale. I actually really like this cheese, and it was normally $14.99, and it was on sale for $8.99, so I picked up two of these. If you're wondering what's in the roaster pan, I have a turkey in here. I am gonna be making some bone broth. I need to start getting some stuff out of my freezer so that I have room for that whole hog that I'm gonna be getting. And I'm gonna be making bone broth with this turkey, and then I'm gonna be putting that in my freeze dryer so that I can have some powdered bouillon, which I'm pretty excited about. So this does conclude this grocery haul. I will be back to show you what I get through Azure, but that won't be for a week for me. It'll be just seconds for you. But I am really wanting to document all the groceries that I am buying this year so that you guys have an idea of what I buy and what I don't need to buy basically when the garden's producing a bunch. 
So like I mentioned earlier, it's been almost two and a half months since I've had to do any sort of major grocery shopping and I'm pretty excited about this. So I will see you guys in just a few seconds. Hey friends, welcome back. It's been a week since you were here last when it came to that grocery haul. I just finished unloading my entire Azure haul and it's out on the counter. But there were a couple things that I didn't actually feel like unloading and bringing into my house. I wanted to show you in my car. This is actually a new product to me. This is four bags of 50 pounds of organic chicken feed. I've heard chicken feed prices are going to be going up because grain prices are going up and chicken feed is made out of grain. These are actually a soy and corn free organic chicken feed. But in general, because of things in the world between weather and 2020 and all the things, the prices are going up apparently. So I decided to order four bags. That'll probably last us probably three or four months. And my next order, I might just order more just depending on how it goes because I've never ordered this. This is actually the first time I've ordered organic chicken feed for my chickens because I just haven't had the finances to actually buy organic chicken feed. We now finally have the money saved up to buy the roof, which that's what we've been saving for since we bought this house and we have that in savings. So I decided now that I can afford a little bit higher quality chicken feed, I wanted to do that. And I was excited to find it that they had it through Azure because I'm already was going to do the pickup. I just added it to my pickup haul. I decided to leave this in my car so that I can just drive this to the back of my property and I can unload it that way and I don't have to bring it inside and then bring it back. So let's go inside and I'll show you what the rest of the haul is. The other thing I decided to stock up on was actually toilet paper. I've never ordered this before. This is a more natural toilet paper, meaning a bunch of it, the paper products that's in this toilet paper is recycled. It says right here, 80% post-consumer recycled content. So I'm not sure 100% what that means, but I thought I'd give it a try because Costco was limiting my toilet paper. Normally when I go to Costco, I buy two packages and you know I just bought one. That's because they were limiting toilet paper. So I decided to go ahead and try this through Azure because I was already placing an order. I did buy two cases, so I hope we like it. So it was like, I think like 96 rolls of toilet paper. It was a fairly decent price. It definitely was a little bit more expensive than what I would pay at Costco, but, but I am willing to pay that if it's supposed to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. So we'll give it a try. I'll keep you guys posted if it's any good. And I hope it is because we ordered a whole lot of it. So. I'm excited to have that in the house. That's something definitely that I don't ever want to run out of. I don't feel like I'm panic buying toilet paper. I'm just trying to be prepared. There was no limit at Azure. You could order as much as you wanted. And so that's why I bought it. I, you know that I don't like to run out of anything. And so that is why I always buy extra and double just in case there are some crazy times with toilet paper again, like there were <laughs> last year. And I was actually really glad. So last year I was able to help some family and friends out with toilet paper because like I said, I do always buy two packages when I buy them. And I do share in the event that anyone needs anything. So at this point, I'm just glad to have more toilet paper on hand. All right, so let's get into the food stuff. I did order a case of coconut milk. I think there's 12 cans in here. I thought that I was almost completely out of flour. I found that I do have one more five gallon bucket that's halfway full but that is not enough to keep on hand for me. So I ordered another 50 pound bag of organic flour. I love this flour. You can actually get this at Costco, but you can get a better price when I buy it a 50 pound bag at a time. Moving on from the flour, these items here, all these seasonings, except for this one, this is a cumin, this is for me. The rest of these seasonings are actually for my sister. With my sister's work schedule, she can't do the pickups. So I just said, let me know what you want, I'll order it. You can pay me back and I'll just pick it up for you. So she got one pound of parsley. I don't think we realized how big one pound of parsley is. That's quite a bit of parsley. And she got one pound of oregano. And so those are quite big bags. Those will last her probably a while. She wanted some minced onion, some granulated garlic. These are both one pound bags and a one pound bag of cumin. So I did get a bag of cumin for myself because I ran out of that making all that salsa. This here is a sourdough starter. You guys know that I did buy some sourdough starter from Alderman Farms, but I wanted to have, I want to have two different sourdoughs going so I can do comparison. And this sourdough starter actually, you can buy it on Amazon. So I can link this down in the description box if you're interested in kind of joining me on the sourdough journey. I also got just a couple things of capers. This year was kind of a mistake. Well, it wasn't a total mistake. I do suffer from um, some anxiety and one of you guys on Instagram actually had recommended this as a tea and that's what I thought I was ordering. I did not order a tea, I ordered a supplement. So no, I was wondering why it was $16 for a tea, but I figured it was probably worth it if it was gonna help. 
and I was gonna give it a try, but I realized I ordered a supplement. So I'm not sure, I need to do probably some research on this before I taking it as a supplement. And then I'm also gonna do some research on maybe finding a tea version, something that I could drink at night or something like that. This here is Portland Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if you guys know, but I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and they have the, this brand has the best ketchup ever. So if you haven't tried the Portland ketchup, do because, well, maybe you don't want to because you'll never go back to Heinz ketchup. But I saw this, I did, I've never seen this in the grocery store and I thought I'd give it a try. I love Worcestershire and so I wanted to try out the Portland Ketchup Worcestershire. I got two of these avocado sprays. I hadn't bought spray since I've been married and we've been married for seven and a half years. When I did my last freezer cooking video, I used this avocado oil spray and oh my gosh, no wonder people buy spray because it was so convenient. So I decided to stock up and buy two more of them. I'm so happy with them. I'm glad that there is a, you know, a healthier oil choice when it comes to a spray. This is some beef gelatin. I like to make marshmallows, and so this is what this is for. A ton of lids because I ordered six of these half-gallon jars and what I thought was eight of these one-gallon jars but I realized I actually ordered 12 of them. I ordered these jars because I am gonna be doing a huge organizational project in my walk-in pantry. The walk-in pantry has been kind of, well, it's been very neglected since I even set it up, but then I set it up and then it was harvest season and things just have gotten thrown in there. Stuff that I bought in my last Azure order, I ran out of jars, so they're just still sitting in the bag. So I really, really, really wanted to get some more jars so that I can get some of that food out of the original packaging and get it in glass and get my food room pantry completely organized. So I am going to probably do that tomorrow and I'm probably, it was probably good that I actually ordered 12 of these because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna find that's gonna need a container. Now this is new to me. I normally make all my cream of chicken and all my cream of mushroom and all my cream of soups because I don't like the ingredients that I find in some of the store-bought ones. But I was just browsing through their website and I found this and look at the ingredients on this. The ingredients are chicken stock, cornstarch, chicken cream, rice flour, sea salt, chicken fat, garlic powder, onion powder. This is a gluten-free option. I've got a bunch of family members that are gluten-free and so I'm super happy to have this on hand. I'm gonna try it. I did order the cream of chicken too, but they were out of that when it actually came to shipping. If I really like this, it'll probably be something that I'll keep in my pantry. It won't become a staple, something that I use all the time and wanna rely on because I would prefer to make it my own so I'm not like wasting a can and I know more what the ingredients are and I just do think it is a healthier option if you can make it homemade but I think for the convenience of having this in my pantry is gonna be awesome. And I'm just excited that this is a clean option that I found. I, I do have some of the traditional stuff that you would just buy at the grocery store, the Campbell's in my pantry as well, but that's usually, I only use those in the holidays because sometimes you just can't get the same flavor <laughs> because of all the ingredients that are in it with the homemade versus the store-bought. So I really hope that I like this. The last thing I got is the Santa Cruz lemon juice. I love this lemon juice. It's not from concentrate or anything. It's 100% lemon juice. And I bought this not that long ago, a whole case of it. But with canning season, I've completely used all of it. And I did have to go to the store to buy more lemon juice. So now I have this on hand. And this should get me between now and next canning season, hopefully. So this Azure haul wasn't actually a huge food haul necessarily. I mean, I did get a big 50 pound bag of flour, but it was mostly stocking up on some organizational things, toilet paper, and chicken food, which I'm pretty excited about. So I wanna show you, I did go to my PO box, and I wanted to show you some awesome things that some of you guys had sent me. Rhonda sent me a whole pile of seeds, which is very, very awesome. I'm so thankful to have these. I'm excited to plant these next year. And I'm gonna not pronounce your name correctly, so I'm just gonna put it right here. Sent a very beautiful note and a Danish whisk and a bench scraper which is perfect timing for the sourdough that we're gonna be doing. And Sarah sent me a beautiful card and a box of canning lids. Friends, I just wanna say thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me and seeing all the groceries that I bought. I'm excited for some of the things that we have coming up between the sourdough and getting my pantry organized and there's just some really exciting things ahead. So if you're interested in checking out Azure and seeing if there is a drop location and how the company works, I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can read about the company and you can see if it's something you'd be interested in checking out for yourself. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing what things I bought, maybe giving you a couple ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing or you could go check out a few of my other videos. They are right here. I have filmed every single one of my grocery hauls for 2020. So if you wanna see those, I'll leave a link to a playlist down in the description box. I don't know about you, but I love watching grocery hauls. So thank you for watching mine. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.